Maybe some of you recently saw my review of the Book of Avramelin, which describes an 18-month um, uh, ritual to get in touch with your holy guardian angel. Um, the uh, review includes a brief introduction of this book, uh, Frater Asher's Holy Daemon by Scarlet Imprint. Um, and I said at the time that I wouldn't do a review, but it's such a beautiful book that I think it deserves its own video. Uh, first of all, let me show you um, the way this book is made because Scarlet Imprint are one of the few book publishers uh, that are around today that um, that take this much pride in the um, in the fashioning of their books. They they only make um, limited runs of of the um, the collector's editions but you can always find their uh, paperbacks uh, very often on on um on Amazon or um definitely through their own website which I'll link below um so what you get here is um a cloth bound um book it's um it's available also leather bound um but Look how carefully this has been made. These are these are individually hand bound books. Just absolutely beautiful. The um the cover here, this is um it it feels a little bit like rubber, I guess, the, the black the black stamped paint. And then you've got this lovely gold stamped uh, Hebrew letter Resh there. Um, and um, and yeah, and the title also in, in this gold stamp, which looks really nice on the shelf. Now the title might be a little bit jarring for some. Uh, Ho Holy Daemon sounds, sounds like an oxymoron, but, um, but actually the word demon, uh, the English word demon, um, it, it that 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 word has act only recently come to mean exclusively evil spirits from hell um uh, the uh, the the origins are well the, 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 there's the latin which is um daemonium and the greek uh daimon and yes daim daemonium uh, has um traditionally meant evil spirits um, but uh, but in in Greek you have the kalodaimon and the kakodaimon. Uh, or, um, uh, or so the so kakodaimon means uh, evil spirits and kalodaimon is um, is good spirits. The Greeks believed that there were spirits that were uh, uh, between uh, divinity and uh, and the physical realm, uh, which they called. Uh, the the demons um, uh, and uh, and they believed that they were good good demons and and bad demons. They also believed that there were spirits um, uh, much closer to the infernal world, um, uh, and those were uh, the the caco uh, the 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 intrinsically evil spirits. Um, and this book uh, talks about it's it's about the holy guardian angel holy guardian angel being uh, each individual's single uh, assigned spirit who can uh, bring uh, advice uh, uh, guidance uh, and and so on um uh, in terms of psychology um uh, it's it would be uh, a, a higher form of yourself or a higher form of your mind um, which is uh, aware of what is good for you and what is not bad for you which you can directly uh, speak to if you go through an 18-month ritual of Avramelin <laughs> or through um, uh, just a few simple exercises uh, described at the end of this book. I say simple exercises, they're not very simple, but it's certainly uh, uh, a, a big step away from an 18-month ritual where you have to seclude yourself in a house and uh, cut yourself away from um, 
from civilization. Um, <laughs> uh, so let me show you what the contents of this book are. Uh, so I think I showed you this in the previous video. This is uh, this is one of the 600 bound uh, copy, uh, 600 copies bound in dark grey book cloth. I wish I could get my hands on a one of those 60 copies in half bound in dark green goat skin with marbled boards. But you know, maybe as a vegetarian, it's uh, it's not such a bad thing. <laughs> um, and uh, and here are the contents. So. At the beginning, you get the history of uh, the holy guardian angel um, and and um, and which civilizations used this very uh, prominently. Uh, the Chaldeans, the Zoroastrians, and the Greeks. It's it's uh, it's fascinating, in fact. Um, uh, reading about you know what was what was normal. Uh, in these uh, in these three civilizations, with regards to communication with um, with with spirits. By the way, let, let me show you just how how lovely this paper is. It's can I get a? It's it's really nice, thick, thick paper. Is it? Very, very high quality. You can tell this is going to stand the test of time. Um, so once you've got, once you've got through the um, through the history, which is, as I say, fascinating, you then have um, his diary of when he went through a ritual, one of. One of one of a, a few, from what I understand, um, that that exist. Um, so he he went through a ritual to get in touch with his holy guardian angel, and the method that he used was a um, a, a close association with Saturn. Uh, now Saturn is um, is is a is a terrifying. <laughs> um, Spirit <laughs> uh, to, uh, to 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 spend that much time with uh, Saturn would be the the um, uh, the this the spirit cl most closely uh, related to death. Um, if you're familiar with um, Hinduism, uh, I guess he would be the equivalent of Shiva. Um, so he, uh, Satan is the one who cleans the canvas uh, so that something new can be uh, can can be put there uh, it's the uh, it's, he, he, satan is, is satan saturn saturn is actually very often associated with satan um saturn is um uh, uh the one who uh, who destroys and who uh, who 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 um sanitizes i think that's probably the best the best way of putting it, sanitizes uh, so that uh, something new can grow there. So uh, very much the omega rather than the alpha. Uh, and and so um, Frater Asher describes his his uh, his encounter uh, over four weeks. The first week uh, he fasts. In the second week, he deprives himself of sleep, waking up every hour um, uh, to uh, to perform mm, prayers uh, and various rituals. Um, and then, uh, and then the third week, he makes a vow of silence. Um, and then in the fourth week, he um, he does all three of these things at the same time. Uh, whilst fashioning himself this this coffin in which he intends to lay himself down and essentially have a death experience um, uh, <laughs> that sounds very extreme but uh, i mean you know there are breathing holes down here so so don't worry it's nothing nothing too sinister um but uh, but 
his diary describes the whole process and describes his emotions as he's going through this four-week process uh, and then describes how he feels on the other side uh, and what he's gained from this experience and uh, and what he can take forward into his life from there. Um, it's fascinating reading. Uh, I mean, I, I, I would dare anyone to start reading this diary and just stop. Uh, it's, uh, it's very, very... Um, very curious, very, very odd. And then in the third part, he describes how he would recommend someone got in touch with uh, their own uh, uh, holy daemon or holy guardian angel. And it does not involve <laughs> uh, um, an approach of, uh, of Saturn. Uh, I guess he, he probably realized that... Um, that that wouldn't be for everyone, <laughs> uh, uh, and it's it's actually surprisingly straightforward and surprisingly um, uh, not without effort, you know, but n not not an eighteen month process, uh, and and also uh, not a um, uh, n n not quite as grueling as as what he describes in his own diary. Uh, it's m mostly mostly. Um, um, vis visualization exercises um, uh, with with some slightly more involved uh, techniques towards the end. I thoroughly recommend reading this book. I mean, whether you're intending to to perform the ritual uh, or not, uh, it, it really doesn't really really doesn't matter. I I, I don't intend to perform this this uh, this ritual. Um, uh, but I have learned so much, so much from, from reading Holy Damon. Um, uh, I, I feel like I understand a lot more about um, why certain things are certain ways uh, in, in, um, in esoteric writings, traditions, um, uh, and so on. Uh, it's it's uh, it's given me uh, an overview of Saturn, um, which which is a concept that 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 really I, I I don't know I mean I think it's obvious that most people will avoid the the idea of of the ideas that surround Saturn death uh, clearing. Um, uh, the end of things, um, you know, rather the end of cycles rather than the beginning of cycles. You know, we like to think about generation. We like to think about about life. We like to think about about new things appearing, not not about old things coming to an end. Uh, and so this this um, this book allowed me to confront this in a in a way that didn't involve me getting into a coffin i was able to uh, to experience all of this vicariously through frater asha and um and it's a, it's a yeah it's it's a it's a work of of um of clearly of love and um and and i'm very very grateful uh, to scarlet imprint uh, for having um published uh, frater asha's book uh, and I'll be looking out for more of their books in the future. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you liked the video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'll link um, Scarlet Imprint's website down below so you can uh, see what other beautiful books they have. Some of them may be uh, a, a little bit niche, um, uh, but uh, but they're they're all beautiful books. There's a there's a tarot deck there. The um, um, you, you'll find it, uh, <laughs> which is absolutely stunning. Um, so, so yeah, um, let me th know what you think down below and uh, see you very soon.